All right, so let's do a gender bender review. I've seen the movie Lola vers la mer, which is a Belgian film about a transsexual girl named Lola who's journeying together with her father unwillingly from his side to the North Sea to scatter her mother's ashes after her mother has died. Uh, yeah, the movie is so and so. Lola is uh, a troubled youth. She is uh, li she's living in a foster home after her parent, after her father kicked her out, or her parents, because her, her mother was still living at the time, kicked her out for being transgender. She had trouble with parents a lot by, yeah, you know, gender dysphoria being dysphoric, cutting herself, going out for extended periods of time and all that. And uh, yeah, she's living in a foster home, not a foster home, a uh, youth center, foster care, you know, where you used to live. And uh, she finds out that her mother's fear, she gets invited to her mother's funeral, but when she gets there, it's Turns out that the funeral has already been, and uh, because her father didn't want her to go there, so he gave her the wrong time. So she is, shows up at the wake and uh, calls the scene, and uh, her father, yeah, pretty much tells her to piss off, and. Uh, Lola really doesn't piss off because she goes back into her father's home and steals her mother's urn and takes the urn with her to the youth center. Uh, so her father shows up and retrieves the urn because he's going to spread it in the North Sea. And uh, <clears throat> there's a bit of struggle between the two. But uh, it turns out that Lola accompanies her father because she does not want to leave her mother's ashes alone. So the two start heading towards the North Sea. And on the way, there's a lot of issues between the two of them. Lola, she steals from a rest stop and her father tells her to go in and pay for it. Lola used the money that her father gives him her to go in and buy some smokes instead. And uh, then when she needs to go go to the toilet, her father just says to her, you, you have a penis, you can, can go and stand up over there and pee. So Lola gets pissed off and throws a bunch a uh, can of paint on her father's car. And with, then she flees into a nightclub or some escort hotel bar. And uh, her father gets in with her and they fight again. The two punch one another and uh, some people break it up. And then her father cools it down a bit and they end up staying uh, together in a room at night. You have a bit of a heart to heart there and her father t talks to the nightclub owner about having a trans child and how tough it is on him because uh, he can't accept her and everything so when the two start heading together towards the north sea again because they're still not there and uh, lola needs to get renew her prescription and hormones and her father gets pissed off at her for taking hormones and he is, uses, uses her dead name and she hates that so she runs off her father kills off a bit and he retrieves her and the two finally head to the place where they're going to scatter her mother's ashes uh they go into an old summer house we had there and uh, uh, they 
she had a place and Lola remembers how it was when she was a young boy and how people chased her because she was different and everything. And uh, when they are going towards the car to retrieve her ashes and all of a sudden the car is burning because apparently her mother's spirit has been with them the whole time. You've seen this in the form of an iPad flickering between on and off and the car starting and not and uh, starting and uh, turning off a few times. And then the movie ends with her father staying at the, at the summer house by the North Sea and Lola heading home towards to, to the youth hostel and then it ends. So the acting is pretty good in this movie. The characters are not likable, however. Both Lola and her father are jerks who only cares about themselves. They're selfish, egoistical, they steal, or Lola steals. But they are pretty close-minded, both of them. So you want to support the movie is about, you know, Lola and her story, but I can't really get into it because I don't didn't like her character. She was very selfish and dislikable. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Not not a movie that I would recommend. Or you could see it one time, but when you've seen it enough. Because it really doesn't delve into transgender issues too deeply. And I want when I see transgender movies, I want to see transgender movies that are pretty deep. And this one was not that. So I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Bye.